in this video i will show you how to simplify a combinational circuit this circuit will known as combinational circuit because this circuit will contain the series and parallel branch of resistors inside it now let me read out the question find out the equivalent resistance or the total resistance of the given network across the marked terminals see the here we have this terminal and this terminal marked and this is a terminal and this is b terminal and between these two terminal we have to find out the total resistance or the equivalent resistance of this circuit in this circuit this is 7 ohm resistor 2 ohm resistor 4 ohm resistor 24 ohm resistor 2 ohm resistor 10 ohm resistor 12 ohm resistor and this is another 12 ohm resistor now we have to find out the total resistance in terms of this terminal and this terminal that means we have to start our simplification from the right side of the circuit now let me proceed with the point method i have shown you earlier this is this will be point c a point will continue as long as we encounter a short path as long as we are going through a short path if we encounter any resistance we have to end up that point see if this is point C we cannot proceed in this direction this direction or this direction because we will encounter resistors in both of these three branches let's say this is our point D we cannot proceed with this D point in this direction this direction or this direction this point will be our point B see as this is our point B and this is a short circuit that means this point this B point will continue up to this point let's say this is our point E now we will start our simplification from the right side of the circuit look between the D and B point you will see that we will see this 2 ohm and this 10 ohm resistors are connected in series therefore I can replace this these two resistors with a single resistor let's say I denote that resistor with RT1 RT1 will be equi equivalent series resistor of this 10 ohm and 2 ohm which will be equal to 12 ohm resistor so this will give our first simplification of the circuit see after first simplification between the D and B point I have got a resistor resistor of 12 ohm resistor now look at this point and this point you will see that we have two resistors one of 24 ohm and another of 12 ohm when two resistors are connected in parallel we can replace that two resistor with a single equivalent parallel resistance Le then I will reduce these two into a single resistor let's say that resistor is RT2 if I use the parallel formula of parallel resistor 1 by RT equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 I will get RT2 equal to 8 ohm there there is another way of calculating the equivalent resistance of to parallel resistor I have to calculate RT2 let's say this is our RT1 this is our RT2 then I just simplify I, I will just multiply these two and add them to get our equivalent resistance so 24 into 12 divided by 24 plus 12 will be equal to 8 ohm that means I can replace these 24 and 12 ohm resistor with a resistance of 8 ohm and that will give our second simplification of the circuit see in the second second simplification this will be the two resistors I have replaced with 8 ohm resistor and you will see that now look at this point and this point at this point and th this point you see that between B to E let's say this is our B point if I go along this direction I will encounter this 12 ohm resistor this is our E point let's say this is our that 12 ohm resistor ok if I go from this B to this E you will see that I will encounter another 12 ohm resistor and that means this 12 ohm and these 12 ohm resistors are connected in parallel so I when two resistances of equal value are connected in parallel I can replace them with a single resistance that 
that means I can replace these two 12 ohm resistor with a resistor of 6 ohm the equivalent resistance will be half of these two this reduction will give us third simplification of this circuit look here between the B point and E point I have replaced the two 12 ohm resistor with a 6 ohm resistor now look, look at this P and this C point you will see that if I go in this direction between B to C we get a 2 ohm and 8 ohm resistors connected in series that means I can replace them with 10 ohm resistor between the in this throughout this path you will see that a, a 6 4 ohm and a 6 ohm resistors are connected in series that means I can also replace them with 10 ohm resistor that means point C to point B we have two 10 ohm resistors connected in parallel when two equal resistances are connected in parallel I can replace them with a value of resistance that will be equal to half of the original value that means I can replace two, two 10 ohm resistor with 5 ohm then between the point A and B we will get our total resistance of the circuit and you will see that our RT will be equal to the series of the 7 ohm and 5 ohm resistor 7 plus 5 will give us 12 ohm ok now let me run a simulation to verify my circuit analysis and this is my circuit arrangement and you will see that I have set exact value of all the resistors and th this will be our point A and this will be our point B and between A and B point I have set a multimeter and I have scaled it to ohm meter if I run the simulation you will see that the resistance between A point and B point that is ohm meter is showing equal to 12 ohm and I have deduced the value of total resistance equal to 12 ohm this verifies my circuit analysis okay that's it thank you